Lock into fall savings at Menards. Save big money at Menards. This is Company Tales. Fun facts about your favorite brands and companies. This episode's tale, Menards. With sales estimated at nearly $12 billion as of 2021 and a workforce of 45,000 employees, Menards is the third largest home improvement retail chain in the United States, behind only Juggernaut's Home Depot and Lowe's. Menards operates about 350 stores across 15 states. Unlike the big two national chains, Menards remains a privately owned company. It is still majority owned by its founder, John Menard Jr. And because it is a private company, its exact sales figures are not publicly known. If you think Menards is just another big box DIY chain, you're both right and wrong. On the surface, Menards does possess many similarities with a variety of hardware and billing material, home decor and appliances, and seasonal merchandise. Menards is probably best known for its lumber, where the company has its roots. Despite its many similarities, Menards stands apart from the big two chains. In particular, the average store size for Menards is almost double that of either Home Depot or Lowe's, spanning almost 225,000 square feet. This is even larger than most Walmart supercenters. Some Menards stores do exist with smaller footprints, but most have been replaced or expanded over the years. Also unique, at least in its bigger stores, is that it features a second level mezzanine. From day one, Menards positioned itself as having the lowest price. This carries into its longtime slogan, Save Big Money at Menards. This slogan features prominently in its company jingle. The word big carries over into the retailer's in-store credit card, the Menards Big Card. The Menards jingle changes at Christmas to more season's greetings to you all from Menards. The store brands its Christmas seasonal merchandise as the Enchanted Forest, displaying its artificial trees as a forest-themed walkway. Many years ago, this was even more impressive, resembling an entire winter scene and often presented as a snow-filled cave. Menards positions itself into other retail categories as well. Its larger stores resemble a warehouse club or supercenter as much as a hardware store. The retailer first added groceries to most of its stores in 2007, including frozen foods and everyday essentials like milk and canned goods. Sofas, recliners, mattresses, and other furniture can also be found, as well as household products, pet supplies, and even some clothing, mostly workwear. Menards features a unique checkout system that basically is a hybrid between a self-checkout and a traditional staffed checkout. There is still a cashier who rings up your merchandise, but shoppers handle their own bagging and payment at the end of the checkout lane. The receipt and even change spits out there. Historically, Menards has embraced a color scheme of red, yellow, and orange. Since about the 1990s, Menards has increasingly embraced a green primary color scheme backed by its legacy yellow, orange, and red. Its logo type remains largely unchanged since inception, with the biggest change dropping a six-leaf clover, or asterisk, in exchange for a swoosh. The modern logo type is generally presented in white, but some versions do appear red, especially adorning older stores. As equally recognizable as its iconic jingle, Ray Shamanda was the company's spokesperson from 1976 until retiring in 1998. Even then, he still made occasional appearances as the Menards guy, post-retirement until 2002. Shamanda became as much of a brand as the company's logo and jingle, developing almost a cult following. Shamanda died in 2018 at the age of 91. 
fun fact is that his son was a regular cast member of CSI until 2015. John Menard Jr. got his start in 1958 constructing buildings to finance his college education, hiring additional crews within two years. Retail operations began when Menard started selling leftover lumber from his building projects. He added other building supplies and opened his first dedicated retail store in 1964 in his hometown of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, where the company remains headquartered. The company operated as Menard Cashway Lumber until the Cashway Lumber portion was dropped during the 1980s to reflect its diversified offerings. By 1976, Menards operated stores in six cities across Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Iowa. Menards expanded into the Dakotas in the 1980s and operated 36 stores as of 1987. It was then the 15th biggest home improvement chain, with sales approaching half a billion dollars. Menards expanded into Nebraska in 1990, Illinois in 1991, and Michigan in 1992. By 1993, the company operated 88 stores with estimated sales of $1.7 billion. Two years later, Menards had 115 stores and was approaching $3 billion in annual sales. Menards continued expanding with a second distribution center in 1998 and opened its 150th store in 2000. Menards opened two more distribution centers in 2007. Forbes ranked founder John Menard Jr. as the 43rd richest American in 2021 and number 104 in the world's richest people in 2022 with a personal net worth of $16.6 .6 billion. He remains the principal owner of the company he founded. Menard is an avid race fan and first sponsored a car for the Indianapolis 500 in 1979 and saw victory in 2019. His son, Paul Menard, competed full-time in the NASCAR Cup Series from 2007 to 2019. The tale of Menards is quite impressive. It grew from selling leftover lumber to the third largest home improvement retailer, all as a private company without public investment, competing effectively with behemoths, Home Depot and Lowe's, among other iconic chains such as Ace, True Value, and Do It Best Hardware. This concludes Menards on Company Tales. Support current and future Company Tales videos at patreon.com slash companytales. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos.